Hello everybody, it is I, Captain Oblivious Mist, and today we're going to be doing the complete history of the Baltic. Uh, not the second one, and not the Collins liner, we're going to be doing the first one. Uh, so, you know, uh, we're going to be doing part three to the Oceanic series, finally. Uh, so, I hope you're all ready for this video, and without any more talking, let's get into the video. In the 19th century, a man called Thomas Ismay bought an all but defunct shipping line. He wanted to own and sell ships instead of just chartering them. But before he could do that, he'd need, well, well, ships. And ships he'd have, as one day Thomas Ismay found himself playing a game of billiards with another man called Gustav Schwab, who offered to finance the line. And the next thing he knew, a class of four ships were being built and designed, the first of which was to be called Oceanic and she proved to be a very successful ship, which was good news for Thomas Ismay, as by the 8th of March 1871, the third ship to be called Pacific was launched. The new ship was to look similar to the Oceanic and was powered by two two-cylinder compound steam engines, and as a backup, she had sails. As for the construction process itself, this went without event, apart from just after the Pacific's launch, as she was renamed to the Baltic, as the Pacific was also the name of a Collins liner that disappeared with all hands lost. Which, for obvious reasons, makes naming a ship Pacific a bad idea. Now back to the Baltic herself, as by the 2nd of September 1871, she was completed and ready for her maiden voyage. The Baltic's career begun on the 14th of September 1871, when she left for her maiden voyage, which went without event, unlike the rest of her career, as on the 17th of October 1871 she grounded. Then on the 20th of November 1872, the Baltic rescued the survivors of the, forgive my pronunciation of the ship, Asria, Asria, the old style I have to do. And in January of 1873, she captured the Blue Riband. She also rescued the crew of a waterlogged ship called the Oriental. Then, on the 17th of August 1880, the Baltic collided with a ship called the Line Forever. And in 1888, she was sold to the Holland America Line. After being bought by the Holland America Line, she was renamed Veendam and was re-engined. She would serve under the Holland America line for 10 years, as on the 6th of February 1898 she immediately hit a submerged wreck and sunk. I can joke about this as no one died, well except for the Veendam herself, but hey at least the shipwreck that struck her now had a buddy right next to her on the sea floor. I would come up with a sea related pun but I can't think of one. Well actually no, no just thought of one. I guess you could say the matter in which she sunk was pretty fishy. Eh? Eh? Oh, fine, I'll just get to the epilogue. Right. Uh, hello, everybody. It is I, Captain Oblivious Mist. Hopefully, this take of the epilogue won't be interrupted by any phones going off. Will they? If you wish to listen to me losing my mind over my phone, may I recommend the bloopers? Uh, a link to the bloopers should be in the description of this video. One the bloopers are about, obviously. Uh, but anyways, as for the epilogue itself, um, hello everybody, it's I, uh, Captain Oblivious Mist, and I'm back for another epilogue. Uh, so, I'd like to start off by saying, holy smokes is the SS Great Britain video taking a while to, like, make. Like, looking at it so far, it is probably going to be one of the longest Maritime Mondays on this channel. In fact, maybe one of the longest videos on this channel. But, you'll have to see. Uh, but so far, it is still in production actively. It is going... I'd say pretty alright. Pretty alright. Uh, as for my Communist Cars video, uh, a little update on that. I have put it on my community tab, but that is still in production. Well, no, it's resuming production in September, and I'm aiming to finish it by October or November. Though, just know that is only a predicted release date. It could come out in, like, January, for all we know. Uh, well, we know. For all I know. Um, and as well as that, uh, I am going to be happily going to be announcing 
Um, bit earlier to announce as I know. But once I'm done with the Oceanic class, uh, obviously we're going to be doing another class of ships. We're going to be voting on to have a series of videos on. The ships, uh, the ship classes you'll be voting on is the Kaiser class, the Jubilee class, and I believe the Olympic class. Oh, and the Collins line and the Collins line um, ships. They they'll all be votable. Uh, the poll for them will be put up on the channel uh, on my community tab. Uh, after I've released my video on the Oceanic Classes Adriatic, so stay tuned for that. But that's like a while off yet. We got like I think we got the Republic before then. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, that, and I believe that's it. Oh wait, no, no, one last thing. Uh, my top ten ugly ships part three list will link into my Halloween video this year. Uh, like its outro and epilogue will link into um, the beginning of my Halloween video. So even if you don't like the like the ships I've done in my Ugly Ships Part Three video, just skip to the epilogue. You'll it'll make the other video that comes out after it makes sense. That, that, that's that's just that. Anyways, now there is nothing else I've really got to say. So thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.